Welcome back, Dallas Stars fans! <sighs> Do you smell it? Dallas Stars fans, can you feel it? There are 18 days until the start of the Dallas Stars season, October 6th. The Dallas Stars will take on the Las Vegas Golden Knights. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait and see what the new Dallas Stars team structure is going to do this season. But before we begin any of that, let's go ahead and take a look back on the Dallas Stars offseason. Dallas Stars fans, in the start of the 16-17 season, the projected lineups in the beginning were similar, adding Hoodler, Sharp, and Hemsky into the mix of the forward line. And then on defense, the Dallas Stars still had Oduya and Jordy. Overall, this team looked like they could make it to the playoffs. However, tragedy would strike. Those three top right-wing players, Hemsky, Hoodler, and Sharp, due to injury and illness, I mean, Hemsky, 15 games played, 7 points. Sharp, 48 games played, 18 points. Hoodler, 32 games played, 11 points. And as you all know, Oduya and Jordy on the defensive line would be traded. Therefore, going into the next season, the Dallas Stars lineups could easily have looked like this. Without Sharp, Hemsky, and Hoodler. As far as the defense, it was completely scrambled. All season long, they were mixing players up, pairing them with others. It was a mess. And you know what? As of right now, back then, the Dallas Stars didn't have a left defenseman who could be paired with Klingberg. However, with the expansion draft, the Las Vegas Golden Knights picked Cody Eakin. So this team ending in 1617 in no way was a playoff-ready team. And far be it from a Stanley Cup championship. So let's talk a little bit about the Dallas Stars goaltending in 1617. Was it bad? Absolutely, sure. But it wasn't all the goaltending's fault. Defensive players had a big part of the way the goaltending was. And I even put up the 15-16 stats along with the 16-17 just to show you that Kari or Niemi are not horrible goaltenders. So Dallas Stars fans, what have we learned at the end of 16-17 season? That the Dallas Stars needed a left defenseman who could be paired with Klingberg. The Dallas Stars also needed a right winger who can be on the top line with Sagan and Ben. The Dallas Stars also needed a powerful penalty kill because it was like second from the worst in NHL. Horrible. And goaltending, maybe we actually need a starter and backup, not two starters. That doesn't work. Clearly doesn't work. Dallas Stars fans, let's go ahead and take a look at what the Dallas Stars have done to not only put themselves what looks to be in the playoff, but potentially Stanley Cup champions. So the Dallas Stars organization and general manager Jim Neal got a new head coach, Ken Hitchcocks. Then with the two-starter goalie system of the Dallas Stars, they went ahead and sent Antti Niemi to Pittsburgh, thus creating Ben Bishop, the Dallas Stars' starter goalie, and Kari Lettinen, the backup. There's no two-starter goalies anymore. It is a starter and a backup. Finally. Also picked up, Radulov, Hansel, Pitlick, Mathot, and Flint. With these players... The Dallas Stars now have a top right winger, a top left defenseman, veteran left defenseman, and a powerful penalty killer. With the Dallas Stars and these few moves, but perfect moves, the Dallas Stars have one of the best, arguably, one of the best starting lineups. Ben Sagan, Radulov, Mathot Klingberg, and Ben Bishop. Dallas Stars fans, shave, put on a hat, get on a shirt, go outside, and celebrate because your Dallas Stars are 18 days away 
from hitting that ice with a new goalie, head coach, right winger, left defenseman, and penalty kill players all around. This year, this season of the Dallas Stars, I cannot wait, and I hope you can't either. Dallas Stars and loyal subscriber fans out there everywhere, I want to let you know that on October 6th and October 7th, I unfortunately will not be able to recap those Dallas Stars games in a video. However, you better bet and believe that on October 10th, a recap video against the Detroit Red Wings and the Dallas Stars will be uploaded after the game. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And of course, to all the Dallas Stars fans across the nation, we are going to see something spectacular this season.